For a few blissful days on vacation with my family in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, the cool air, the absence of a television, and a paucity of cell service worked to shield me from the constant drip of bad economic news. Ah, but of course it couldn't last, and back to work I have come to resume taking my daily dose of dreary economic data. This was all so predictable. Upon taking office in the wake of the housing meltdown of 2008, the Obama administration went all in Keynesian, pouring more than a trillion dollars worth of yours and my money into stimulus and bailouts. So what has that gotten us? Well, unemployment ticked up in June to 9.2 percent, the fourth monthly increase in a row. Seven million people who were working in 2008 can't find a job today. In addition, as I have just learned, one of every four in the college class of 2010 still haven't found a first job. The average period of unemployment stands now at 40 weeks, more than twice the highest level since World War II, and more than half of households, according to Rasmussen, report that their financial conditions are deteriorating. But take heart nevertheless. Keynesian liberalism has again been debunked. Once Obama is gone, it won't be tried again anytime soon. It's too bad that we apparently have to relearn this lesson about once every other generation, but learn it we have. That's my word, what's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me.